Were the Lucha Brothers' WWE debut plans leaked to AEW? We'll talk about it. Plus, we have an update on MJF's AEW absence, and a title match has been announced for SmackDown tonight. It's all in the Cultaholic Wrestling News right now. There's been lots of conversation about the wrestling future of the Lucha Bros. Will they stay in AEW? Will they go to WWE? When will they go to WWE? How will they go to WWE? We have a twist in the tale today, don't we, Andrew? We sure do. This comes from Ewu on the Wrestle Purist podcast, who shared a bit of information saying people other than Tony Khan don't have strong feelings on the situation. As for Tony, Tony likes Ray Phoenix. He's always liked and respected Ray Phoenix. He just felt that if he let this thing slide, that other people were going to start taking advantage of him and it was going to lead to a damn breaking so they're effed and Penta has another month I believe and Phoenix has around 9 to 10 uh, Tony found out what the plan was for them on Smackdown and that also informed this take a while guess who leaked that one backstage in AEW that was when Ibu was asked uh, about if there was any heat on the Lucha Brothers following these reports that have been going around about them jumping to WWE and from that we got as we say there some, some interesting intel that Tony discovered that there was a plan for Penta whose contract uh, is very much close to coming to an end, mm -hmm. debuting on SmackDown and that getting back to Tony Khan and AEW and it looks as if it may have... Uh nixed those plans for now. Yeah, it seems so. I mean, obviously we got the, uh, we had Penta recently making a statement saying that his present is within uh, AEW and it is for the foreseeable as well. Um, so what comes of this remains to be seen. Maybe his statement was um, just like a, a reaction to all this stuff that has gone down and all the things we've heard recently about Lucha Brothers and WWE. Who knows? It remains to be seen. And it also uh, brings up the subject of contract tampering, if that is the case. Because mm. as they're saying here, Penta and Phoenix still both, under, according to reports, under contract to AEW. So you can't really start making plans and, and start looking to bring them in whilst they're still under contract. Obviously, you can have those plans in quiet, in silent, but mm -hmm. you can't have those discussions until after the fact. And I think this whole thing with Lucha Brothers and a possible WWE appearance have very much brought those conversations about contract tampering to the front once again. It's one that we'll keep an eye on at Cultaholic. Uh, some brighter contract news. Good Ooh. morning, mother. There you are. Uh, PW Insider reporting that Rhea Ripley and WWE have come to terms on a brand new deal with everything but the actual signing taken care of. We're told by one source that it's, quote, just a matter of time before it is signed and sealed. Uh, one of several talents is Rhea Ripley that have been approached in the last month about getting a new deal with the company. And the word making the round is that Ripley is going to be locked in for five years when the deal is signed and getting a considerable raise contractually. Hey. I mean, she absolutely deserves oh it. Oh my a, a gosh! A thousand yes. percent, one of the faces of WWE uh, in this current era, and she stepped up to the plate tenfold as well. There was a point where she came up to the main roster, and I think that was it was the same for quite a lot of people that came from NXT back then as well. A little bit shaky of a start, and now she's just fallen into this character. She's found, like, she's found the thing that she can just clutch onto and mm. just carry on and, and be tremendous with what she's doing at the moment so she deserves it absolute star thank you very much mother uh, MJF is a star that hasn't been seen in the skies of AEW for a little while he's been off TV following that match he had with Daniel Garcia and uh, we have a little update on his current status with the company don't we we do yeah coming from Fightful Select giving an update saying we're told that MJF was filming throughout September we're told MJF still has filming to do on Happy Gilmore or two, but is expected back in AEW soon. Um, in addition, MJF secured a role in another movie, feature, another movie, sorry, featuring Justin Long and Ron Perlman, the Hellboy himself. Details are few and far between regarding that one, however. Uh, well, it's, it, he's a miss on telly. I think he that he's, he's a fine promo, really hard grafter. Uh, I think, and obviously, Daniel Garcia. Uh, putting his flag in the ground and, yep. and staying with AEW. Mm -hmm. And they'll have more on him in the more, throughout the throughout the day here at Cultaholic and on Cultaholic.com. Uh, but I feel like that's your first program. Oh, a thousand percent. Yeah, that would be, yeah, be really rather. cool because then you can build Garcia with something 
um, given that, you know, he's, well, we'll talk about it in another video, <laughs> won't we? But you can build Garcia with something and then have MJF come back and have a really, really good, because like just that match that they had together was brilliant as well. So like an actual full blown feud between the two. Mm. Ooh, delightful. Delightful. It is AEW Wrestle Dream Weekend. You have nine pitches on the channel with this handsome gentleman and two less handsome gentlemen right now. We have predictions uh, with the uh, with the gorgeous Ross and the gorgeous Sam Driver. Uh, we have live reactions Reactions with those two at youtube.com slash coldholic slash live are tomorrow with a pre pay per view party on our TikTok. What? Find us on Cultaholic, find Cultaholic on TikTok and you can watch a live pre show <laughs> party with us on TikTok. I don't even know what that means, yeah. but it sounds, it sounds fun. It Sub sounds fun. Follow us on TikTok and you'll get a ding when we're having a little boogie to get things started. <laughs> Let's do it. We're trendy. Yeah. Down with the kids. Yeah, we're trendy, everybody. Come on, yeah, come, come on. on. Uh, over to TNA as we're getting set for Bound for Glory. Huge title match announced for Bound for Glory yesterday. Yeah, so Brian Myers and Eddie Edwards of the system will defend their TNA Tag Team Championships against ABC and the Hardys in a full metal mayhem match, everybody. That's basically like TNA's equivalent of the TLC match. Something that the Hardys have never won before, which is insane. Yeah, the only time a Hardy has won a full metal mayhem match was against another Hardy. That's crazy. When one of them had to win, you'd mm. have thought. Uh, but so this might be, I wonder whether they put the tag titles on them one more time. Would be nice, wouldn't it? I feel like they might, be you know. Nice. Also, uh, Bound for Glory was announced last night that Jordan Grace will defend the Knockouts World Title against Marsha Slamovich. They had a banger of a match uh, a while ago, and they became sort of this united force mm. for a little while. Uh, and we saw the return of Marsha Slamovich's Kill Wall oh. on Impact. She's got the big wall and all the people on it. And yeah, all. that's it. And she handed Jordan Grace uh, an envelope, and in the envelope was a was a was a photo of Jordan Grace with a big cross through it. Mm. I wonder whether this is the end of Jordan Grace's record smashing Knockouts World Title reign. Oh, maybe. She's, She's, only, for a, all She's only for a while, aren't she now? Yeah. And they've had bangers before in the past as well. Oh, oh you've got me tantalised mm. now, Tom. Plus, Mike Santana is going to face Moose as well. These have gone back and forth. Santana wants a fight with Moose. Moose has hired some security to keep <laughs> Santana at bay. Uh, it was made official by TNA Director of Authority, Santina Morella, last night. Those two will have a banger as well uh, at Bound for Glory. Also, the digital media title on the line as PCO defends against... Uh, against Matt Cardona in a Monsters Ball match. Oh, that's going to be good. And oh, I love that. I do love a Monsters Ball Me match. Me too. And the TNA World Title is your main event. Nick Nemeth against Joe Hendry. Come on, Joe. Come on, big Joe. We'll do live reactions for Bound for Glory. Mm -hmm. So in a couple of weeks' time, we'll I'll we'll sit down and we'll stay up late and we'll watch nice. Bound for Glory together at youtube.com. That's called Hollywood slash live. <laughs> uh, Smackdown is live uh, tonight. And we have uh, officially, well, it's now made made official. It was first revealed by WrestleVotes and PW Insider. US title match tonight. Ooh. LA Knight versus Carmelo Hayes. It's not a triple threat match. I want my triple threat match done with Andrade in the mix. Give but daddy be, his yum yum triple threats. This will still be good. This will still be very good. Do you think we're building to a triple threat? I think so. It feels like we are. I think a lot of people were maybe hoping for one at Bad Blood, but obviously Triple H likes his shorter cards uh, and therefore we didn't get it there. I feel like we're going to build towards something. What if we go LA Knight versus Carmelo, Andrade interferes. Mm -hmm. LA Knight versus Andrade, Carmelo interferes. I think something like that is definitely going to happen. Very Simple bookings. Uh, also, as previously announced, we're going to see the women's tag titles on the line as uh, Jay Cargill and Bianca Belair defend against the Metaphors, Jakara Jackson and Lash Legend. Lovely. And Roman Reigns set to appear after The Rock turned up at Bad Blood. He'll mm -hmm. have something to say, I reckon. Oh, I'm excited. Very stacked. Mm. Is it as stacked as our new Patreon? Oh, maybe, Tom, because you can head over to patreon.com forward slash cultaholic to find all these lovely new tiers. We've revamped everything. There's going to be stuff like punishments on there for the big four AEW and WWE pay-per-views, uh, which will start with Full Gear, I believe, which is in November. That'll be mm. the next big one. So Sam and Ross will be interacting in that one. They will be interacting about your in that shows, one. Eh? Well, well, also the WTF moments will have a brand yes. new home on mm -hmm. our Patreon. And here's the thing with WTF moments and with the punishments now on Patreon. Behind that, you know, in that, in that, in that Patreon world, we can go take you behind the scenes on it. We can make them longer. Yep. Badder. Yep. 
Swearier. You said badder, but I mean a better, <laughs> better but badder. Yeah, you know, I mean, as in badder, as in they can be worse punishments. XXX. Yeah. <laughs> Ross can get swearier. You're gonna see WTF moments as it should be in the wild. Yes, absolutely. Without the limitations that uh, this here platform mm. presents. Mm -hmm. Same with punishments. You know, we've got no limitations on what punishments we can do on our Patreon. Well, Ross said in uh, in the in the predictions video yesterday. If you want it, he can suck off a horse. He could. It's heat! <laughs> Wasn't expecting you to say that. <laughs> I'm just, I'm the messenger. I'm just the, the messenger, Tom. Is now... <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's what everyone's going to think the first punishment is. Uh, he's put it out into the universe. Suck so off a horse. I can't, I, I can't say for sure whether that will happen, but it's a possibility, everybody. <laughs> That will not get us demonetized. Uh, Patreon.com slash Cultaholic. Plus, you get video versions of the classic Raw, Night Show and SmackDown reviews and Desert Island Grass as well. You could be a guest on a future episode of Desert Island Grass. You could be a castaway on Desert Island Grass at Patreon.com forward slash Cultaholic. And for the latest wrestling news at any time, you could suck off a horse or check out our brand new website at Cultaholic.com. Kiss, kiss. Love you, bye.